everyone, I'm Liz Brown Swanson. Welcome to Community Connection on Location. Get ready for a very colorful program. Why? Because we're gonna take a look at the art scene right here on the peninsula. Now, right now I'm in the Artist Studio Gallery of the Palace Verdes Art Center, located at the Village in Rolling Hills Estates. We're gonna come inside and meet some of the artists that have their work on display. But most of all, we're gonna focus on the upcoming Artist Studio Tour. It is the fifth annual on October 4th and 5th. Mark your calendars. You're not going to want to miss it, so let's check out the art scene right now. Well, on October 4th and 5th, from 10 a.m. in the morning until 5 o'clock in the evening, nine different artist studios will be open for inspection. We have everything from all different types of paintings, from acrylic to oils to watercolors to pen and ink to uh, 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 acrylic, uh, uh, multimedia. And also we have jewelers, we have a stained glass, a glass artist that works with fused glass. We have a wonderful basket maker. Both of these artists will be shown later in the, in the tape. And all these studios will be open, showing you the tricks that they use in creating their art. They'll be showing wearable art, hot glass, uh, all sorts of uh, jewelry, ceramics. So uh, many, many of our artists are involved in one way or another in this, in this show, and you will be able to learn the inside tricks that they use to create their beautiful work, all different types of work. You get a map so you can make your own decision as to what time you want to go to each of these different studios. It's both Saturday and Sunday, so you don't have to hurry. There'll be food on the patio at the Art Center, so if you'd like to stop and get a bite, that'll be very nice, and you'll see all these different artists working there. So we hope you'll take advantage of this. It's been very popular. Each year it's been bigger than the last. Uh, hundreds of people come through the galleries. They want to know how you, uh, for example, how I paint my night paintings. I'll show them how I do the night paintings uh, and any different tricks they want to know about the special paints that I like to use and why I use them, why I don't use certain things. I'll have my rig set up so they can see what I, how I do it and what the, what the different materials are. All the other artists will be doing the same thing. Well, I'm here with Nancy Backus, who is wonderful and the director of both artist studio galleries at the PV Art Center and here at the Village in Rolling Hills Estates. Thank you for joining us. You're it's always gorgeous to come in here and see beautiful works exhibited. Why don't we kind of walk our viewers through and okay. talk about what who, who's here, artists that are showcasing their work right now. Well, right now, this is what we call the small wall, and these are more representative of uh, most, most of our artists that put their small pieces here. And then we have our featured artists um, throughout the gallery. And right now, we are featuring Don Crocker, Margaret Schultz, and Phil Earle, photographer. Some basket work from Margaret Schultz and her beautiful um, cactus uh, pottery. So how does this work usually have three artists that come in at a time to showcase? It's a six week uh, show that this one just opened so it'll go until the middle of October and uh, uh, the artists have a, a reception opening to bring all the people in. It's a really fun time and then their artwork is up and on display for six weeks. You have quite a few pieces in here too, right? You never... Yeah. They really have a chance to really show a, a large uh, quantity of work. So you really have to be, uh, you, you're, you're, you're juried in, but you're really expected to, to work hard and uh, you know, bring a lot of work to the gallery. And how do you get juried in? Talk about that whole process and who get, gets to show here. We have applications and anyone who is an artist can come up and pick up the application at the Art Center. And then we have juries, probably about four or five a year. And uh, we have a number of people who are active at the studio who come to uh, 
interview the artists and show their work and then we discuss it and then we let them know if their work is uh, something we'd like to have at the Village Gallery or at the artist studio or at both studios. Some people uh, display at both studios. And coming up again to the studio tour, what is exciting you the most about that and uh, anything you'd like to tell the community about just being able to participate in that? Well, it's a wonderful, uh, really kind of a festive weekend. I'm actually, my house and studio is on the tour, and I'm right below John Crocker, and uh, it's a real great opportunity for artists to get together and then to also talk to the public and find out what they like, and it, it, you never, you, 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 you always meet someone uh, new and different and make friendships, so it's really a good time. Here on the peninsula, are you always amazed at the quality of the art that's here? You don't need to go downtown. Well, you're right, you're right. Um, we have such a beautiful area to live, and uh, people do appreciate the, the art of the area. They like to bring it into their homes, and I'm happy to be a part of that. Nine homes, two galleries, you're saying that, that, that are available for people to visit. Um, do you have sort of a strategy you might offer up for how to do this in, in a very nice way? <laughs> well, yes, there's a map. You get a map when you buy the ticket, and it shows you from wherever you live what the best route would be for you to catch those artists that you are most interested in. And you can pick and choose because it describes briefly what kind of art's being created. At each venue, you may only be interested, for example, in basketry. Well, then you want to go to Margaret Schultz because she's a primo basket maker. And many of these uh, uh, locations have beautiful views. For example, I can look right down on the on the peninsula on, on the Long Point where the new Terra Nea resort is being built. And uh, so there's beautiful views and, beautiful, and I, I show my work in a corral and I paint in my barn. And I have some setups there that might be of interest to how, how you can create art in your own particular situation in an efficient way and also uh, in a very pleasurable situation. So uh, I welcome everybody to buy a ticket Come to our show. I think you really enjoy it. And I really appreciate, Liz, you giving us a chance to talk about this. This is a show that Phil Earle, who is a photographer, and Margaret Schultz, who's the basket maker, and I have at the Village Gallery, which is what they call a showcase. So there's just the three of us that have our show up here until October 12th. And uh, I have about 25 paintings here on the wall that are major paintings. Many of them are local scenes. Some of them are night scenes, which you can see from behind me. Uh, that's a very special and, and interesting way to paint, and uh, you need, need use book lights on your on your uh, on your uh, rig, and I can show people if they want to come on the artist studio tour how I do that, where to get the lights. But it's very exciting to paint by moonlight. It's very exciting to see the beautiful lights at night that come across the water, both in the moon as well as the lights of the city. It's also beautiful to look down from the hills that we live on, cross the cross. The, Los Angeles and across the Queen's Necklace and the, and the piers and all the different lights that you see out there and, and try to capture those, those lights at night. It's a very different uh, experience. But I also paint during the day, of course, morning, noon, and night, sunsets and sunrises. I've got a sunset, a number of sunsets here, as well as local scenes. I've got several scenes of, of uh, Terranea. And the Terranea, Terranea I painted in the early morning at day, midday and uh, in the late afternoon as the moon was rising and the sun was setting and at night. I've got four different scenes just so you can see the different times of day and how different light creates very, very different views uh, of, the, uh, of the coast. Uh, sidebar, I know when I've done a story with Terranea, they are very proud to say they want to work with all local artists and I believe you, um, some of your work they're already purchasing, is that right? Yeah, they, they purchased seven of my paintings. Awesome. I'm very, very uh, pleased that they did that and they're making copies of some of them for the various casitas, so I'm very honored that they included me. Anita Gerlach, and I'm in charge of this studio tour this year. So I'm very excited about it. It's going to be a good tour with a lot of interesting new artists, new places to go.
I crossed your path on a studio tour a few years back. You were exhibiting your work. Talk about your art. I'm standing next to one of your fabulous tigers now. Well, this is, I love to do animals. And I love to do horses, tigers, lions, plus other things too. But um, I was recently out at Shambhala at Tippy Hedren's place. And so we took a lot of photographs out there of the lions and tigers. And this is one of them. You, your, your artwork has fame with it. I understand that Governor Schwarzenegger has one of your paintings. He does. I did a portrait of him. How exciting was that? <laughs> that it was very exciting. Yeah, I enjoyed going down there and giving it to them, and it was fun. Um, talk about just the excitement of being part of the art community here on the peninsula and your involvement with the art center and the studios. Well, I've been involved with them for, I think, about five years here at the artist studio, and I really enjoy it. Meet wonderful people. Love to uh, sit in the gallery and as people come in, talk to them and see their excitement and seeing the different work and buying things. Where do you get your inspiration and your create creativity? You know what, it's just whatever interests me. I just love to see if I can reproduce it. And um, it's just challenging and exciting. I love it. <laughs>
my needles myself and I prepare them and wash them and tenderly dry them and then put them into bundles and store them away till I need them. Now when the artist studio tour comes up, you're opening your home again. You said you've been on the tour probably at least four, four of the five times. It's been, I think this is our, either our third or fourth year. It's a lot of fun. It's better now that we're having the artist studio tour both days of a weekend. We get more people, uh, people are more relaxed, they're not racing from one studio to another. And it's great to see the reaction of people who come here. And I get to, since I'm one of the host homes, I get to learn more about my fellow members of the artist studio. So that's, we just have a, it's like a, a picnic here. It's wonderful. And you'll have other artists here joining you. I know you mentioned the past, you've had jewelers, other painters. Yes. This year it's going to be Bob Dowdy, who's a wonderful painter. Um, let's see. Oh, Nancy Comerford, who makes jewelry. She used to make baskets, um, but now she's a, a jewelry maker. Um, let's see. Christy Armstrong is going to be here working with her clay. That's going to be wonderful. Now, you do teach basket making. This and this patio is where I teach. Um, we work with Canary Island. These are Canary Island pine needles. We have two trees in our garden here, so it's never a problem with, pro with uh, supply. This is the kindest, gentlest of all the pine needles. This is what the students can work with without tearing their hair out. Um, the basket I'm working on now is using the inflorescence, that is to say, the flower stalk of the phoenix palm. And as you can see, it's got really nifty curls and, and wiggles and all kinds of bend, bending lines in it, and it makes a fabulous basket. Now, I, we were looking at your beautiful baskets that are at the artist studio. Um, where can people find your baskets? And you said you have a following. Well, at, uh, right now, my work has, I'm selling my work to the Gamble House. I'll be in the Huntington Library at an Arts and Crafts Movement weekend there in October, the 17th, 18th, and 19th, and I'm very, very excited about. I was one of 12 artists that were invited, so I'm just thrilled. We were talking earlier about what you do. Is this a craft or is it art? And you had a neat description. Oh, yes. Um, for an example, the Nantucket Light Chip Baskets. The baskets are made over a mold. Each basket is made exactly the same way every time. They are absolute perfection. The people that make baskets of that type, where they make hundreds, that would ordinarily be considered a craft because the person is pleasing the audience, the purchaser. An artist makes baskets or paints or works with clay. The artist pleases himself or herself first. If the public likes it, that's just peachy. Baskets have meant a great deal to me my whole life. Uh, I am always happy to teach others because I always learn something from the, t the student. Um, I'm just a basket case. I just love it. I just, I never found a pine needle I couldn't learn to live. They're all wonderful. Uh, I'm Phil Earle and I live in Palos Verdes and uh, I've worked in a black and white um, landscape photography for about, well, 12 years now. Of course, here at the gallery, Phil, a lot of your work is just from scenes from around the country, but you do a lot of work here on the peninsula as well. Talk about some of your favorites. Well, I like uh, shooting around the peninsula as well. Uh, I have some shots of Malgar Cove School, which uh, my daughter went to years ago, and um, Malgar Cove Plaza, the Neptune statue, this kind of stuff. Well, I think it's a great thing to get the, the local artists' work out to the community. Uh, and I, one of the parts of being part of a, of a gallery is to volunteer, which I'm doing today. And I man the studio and uh, try to get some sales going and get the word out. So it's a great venue, you know, and uh, it's a great place to buy artwork that's all original, you know, and it's, a lot of it's local. And I'm um, on display here at the uh, Village Gallery. And I'm opening up with um, another artist, John Crocker, and he and I have collaborated. And he's taken some of my uh, photographs and painted them. We're looking at that wall over there. It's like uh, dueling paintings and pictures. Yeah, it's kind of neat in the sense that I give him a black and white, and he interprets it in color. And um, so we've, uh, we've had some fun doing that. So. 
Now, while I was talking with Don Crocker, I asked him which of his paintings here in the studio would be difficult for him to give up, and he's gonna share that, so that means these are hot items. <laughs> this is a painting of a sunset from right near my property, looking down at uh, the, the Terranea Re Resort and Long Point and at sunset, and uh, showing Catalina Island. And uh, uh, these, these are the, the four paintings that I did of different times of day uh, uh, at the Terranea Resort. Uh, early morning, daybreak, midday, uh, moon rising, sun setting, and then uh, at night. And these are my mountain scenes. I, I've backpacked in the High Sierra many, many times. And so there's many, many beautiful spots that I've tried to capture uh, in my work. All right, so you're going to want to get out your paintbrush, or I should say your pencil and pad of paper, to write down this website to get any more details you want to know about the upcoming Artist Studio Tour. Here it is. It's going to be up on the screen, www.artist-studio-pvac.com. You can find out all the particulars, and I hope to see you on that tour all around the peninsula to see some incredible artwork and have a fabulous time. That'll do it for this edition of Community Connection on Location. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. See you next time.